Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of Bilvavi Mishkan Evne. And he says like this, The avoid the service that a person has to engage himself in specifically, will be calling Yonim Bichlal, and in general, Mishalekes, Labis, Chalakim, it's divided into two different categories. Aleph, number one, Kevius, Man, Bechol, Yom, Lizbainim, Bidvarim. A person needs to set aside time every single day to be misbinding, to meditate and go deep into the idea that there is a Rebbeinu Sha'ilam, he created the world, Aramuna, everything we've been speaking about up until this point. And Beis, number two, B'meshech Hayoyim, throughout the day, and he puts here in parentheses, Levad, Mizman, Eisig, Betam, Betar, besides the time that you're involved in learning. When your person is learning, they should be totally engaged in their studies. We already spilled enough ink about this idea. The intelligent, wise one will understand. And therefore he's writing that there is an obligation throughout the day to remind themselves of what is the point of all of their service of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That's the point that we're coming to acquire for ourselves. At least once every half an hour, you have to remind yourself why it is that you're here in this world and what you're here to accomplish. You have to make for yourself reminders. She has kiru as nekudas avodosas that we should remind ourselves and remember what is the point of all of our avodah. What are we trying to accomplish? Well, the inyan avodah shavanu asukim ata and this avodah, this service of Hashem that we are involved with, is ala adam liskor leerech kol chatzisha that a person must remind himself every half an hour. She has kol nivra mimenu yizmar shemoyim. Everything in the world is created by Hashem. And I'm also created by Hashem. And everything that's around me is created by Hashem. And we're all here to serve Hashem. A person must think about the object, this world, which is sitting in front of him, standing in front of him. And he has to ask himself in the clear way that we mentioned above, like we mentioned by Pesach night, how do we teach our children about Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim? How do we teach our children about Amuna? How do we teach our children about having Hashem in your life? Shailo Uchuva. You ask a question, you give an answer. And we are supposed to do the same thing in our own lives. Mi bara chefetzeh. Who is the one that created this object, this world? Who created this person? Who created this fish? Who created the sun? Who created the moon? And then we'll, Then we can answer ourselves. You, Hashem, are the one who created all of this. We're reinforcing, we are putting it deeper and deeper and deeper into ourselves. Who is the Rebbe Nishalem? Then these things will be acquired deeply inside of our hearts. One, on the special time that we set aside every single day to accomplish this, and so too, it's the second idea that we spoke about, that every half an hour or so, remind yourself about this, that a person continues throughout the day to do such a thing. So we have to set aside a regular amount of time to be misbinded, to think deeply into this. Your hisbinedness, your meditation, your solitude between you and Hashem. And then throughout the day, every half an hour or so, just quickly remind yourself, who created the world? Oh, Hashem created the world. And who is the creator? I'm one of Hashem's creations. And as a result of that, we'll be living with Hashem all of the time. Have a wonderful day.